All right, guys, we're out here on the Potomac getting ready for stop number one of the Costa FLW Series Northern Division. Uh, Matt Stasiak has already had a good year on the Potomac, picked up a BFL win this yes, spring. Sir. Yes, sir. Um, I guess uh, for people who aren't super familiar with the river or haven't been keeping up, how's it shaping up this year? I remember last year uh, when the tour was here, guys, a lot of guys complain about a lack of grass. Is there plenty of grass? Oh, yeah, the grass came back big time. It, there's more grass than you can shake a stick at out there. Okay, that, that seems like it'd be a good thing. Absolutely, absolutely, man. It, they had a great spawn this year. Everywhere you go in the shallows right now, you'll see all the leftover beds. There was plenty of bed fish. You'll see all the fry out there. If you find the fry, you're going to find the fish too. They're still, st they'll st ugh, they're still stay staying around there, but they're there. I mean, all right. they're, they're there's there. A lot of, there's a lot of very close to post-spawn <clears throat> fish then. Absolutely. Um, right. You'll catch your fat ones here and there, the ones that spawned early and are still feeding up in the grass beds. And, and they're eating, man. You find them. There's, there's going to be more than one. Okay. Um, last year, Clark Wenlet, he won the tour event off docks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there was a, I feel like a hard cover played a lot in that tournament. Do you think that's the case for this one? Or do you think because there's so much grass, because the fish are just coming off their spawn, do you feel like it's a much stronger grass bite and that's going to be maybe not even how maybe not how it's won but how the majority of the fish get caught um the grass is going to play a big factor in this one um a lot of fish in the grass and they are stacked in there okay pool. um boat docks i have never experienced boat dock fishing on this body of water it's just not your thing it's just not my thing i like fishing boat docks but i just could not find the right ones on this body of water okay. but the grass beds are there they're huge main river grass beds are huge um in the creeks in chickamongston and in aquia grass beds are there and they're in them all right uh what's the water color look like i know we're supposed to get some rain in on friday i think um do you feel like are most of the creeks uh, pretty good color pretty clear we're here in uh, manawoman and it looks great yep. um is that the case pretty much everywhere depends or depends on which way the wind's blowing um monday and tuesday we had some really strong winds here probably gusts of 40 mile an hour and there was five and six footers on on that river and it was it muddied a lot of things up but okay. it only took about a day and a half for everything to clear back up again. The water's still a little dingy, but it's clear it's enough not, that- It's you, not bad though. No, it's, it's clear enough that you can still go to work and, and put them in the boat. Okay, um, I guess I'll put you on the spot. Uh, what do you think it takes to win this thing? Three days. Three days, 18 pounds a day, I'm gonna say. If you get 18 pounds a day, you're gonna win it. All right, well, I like it, because that's fishing, I mean, that's, that's almost old Potomac. That's yeah. that's really good fishing, and that's Absolutely. what I want to see. Some, somebody might bust 20 pounds tomorrow um, if they get the right bites, but I think 18 pounds a day you'll win it. 15, you'll probably make the top 10. All right. Well, uh, Matt, thanks a bunch for your time, no and good luck out there. Thanks, brother.